Well, welcome back, everybody. We are taking your questions right now for veterinarian David Graff. So give us a call on Newsline 9 365 9999. And uh, he brought with him Precious, the Precious. Precious little dog, huh? Precious is a four month old Shih Tzu puppy. And she's uh, she had surgery for a liver problem, and she's doing much better now. Okay. Much better. She had a a, uh, a present at birth or congenital defect of the blood flow that went around the liver instead of through the liver. They call that a shunt. And she's had corrective surgery for that, and she's doing very well, as you can tell. She's pretty energetic, I was going to say. Yes, she so. is. Um, one thing we, we should talk about, um, right before we went on the air, he basically lifted up the, the dog's mouth. Is that how you tell how old they are, basically? You can, you can on puppies. Okay. On puppies, you can get a pretty close approximation as to their age by the development of their adult teeth or presence of baby teeth. Okay. And after all the adult teeth have come in, it becomes harder to tell. Okay, so when a dog's a full-grown adult, you can't really tell it, based upon... Right, it, then it's just a guess based upon the, the wear of the teeth or the buildup on the teeth. But okay. when they're growing, you can get a pretty close approximation on age based upon the, the development of the adult teeth. Okay. I took an email question earlier, actually. Somebody was wanting to know with puppies, um, when they get nervous around people, what's the best, what's the best remedy to that? Um, Learning to be socialized with people is very important for puppies between eight weeks and 16 weeks of age. Make sure that you don't keep your puppy too close to you only. Make sure that you take them to meet all the friends and neighbors and relatives and the mailman and the gas meter guy mm -hmm. and make sure that they meet all those people so that they become socialized and so that they don't become fearful. Okay. We have Ginger on the phone with a question for us. Go ahead. Uh, Ginger, are you there? Ginger, are you there? Ginger? Yes. Okay, go ahead with your question. Yes, I, um, I have a Sharpay, and she constantly, she's, I know she's old because we didn't have her since um, 93, and she constantly licks everything. Okay, licks herself or, or licks objects in your house? Everything. Okay, well, she just has developed a taste for licking things. It's probably not a sign of a deficiency or, or it's probably just a habit. I was going to say, if she's licking her skin and she has uh, hair loss or signs of uh, things being abnormal with her skin, then it could indicate that something that needs to be seen. But if she just likes to lick things, I, uh, cats like to lick plants and dogs like to lick furniture and They just like to lick. Yeah, yeah. It, <laughs> it's it, something to do. It doesn't necessarily indicate a medical problem. Okay. Real quick, we have about 30 seconds. Uh, when should people start really worrying about fleas and ticks? Today. Okay. We, we, had, a, we had a puppy come in this morning and... We, we try to check every animal for fleas when they come in, and one got by us this morning, and ah, the, the dog's been here for an hour, and we just now found a flea. Wow. So, yeah, it is, uh, it's not the cold, it's the humidity. In the, in the winter, the humidity is so low that flea eggs and flea larvae don't develop. It's, the humidity's up, so fleas are out. So put on the, the topic of flea prevention. All right, very good advice as always. Veterinarian David Graff, thanks for coming in today. And Precious, you did good. She calmed down, of course, at the end, right? Absolutely. Uh, tomorrow, psychologist Dick Sockwell, who will actually be taking part in our Your Money series. Stay with your 24-hour news source, KCRG-TV9.